Hi and welcome um, to another uh, tutorial on GIMP. Uh, what we're going to discuss now is dodging and burning, but in a unique way we're going to dodge and burn on an overlay layer. Um, up here we have the dodging and burning tool. The problem with the dodging and burning tool is, is a lot of times when you do um, an undo with that tool, uh, it will leave artifacts. It doesn't do a completely a complete undo. The second thing with the uh, dodging and burning tools, it's slightly clumsy. Um, dodging and burning directly on the image, a lot of times you'll get a lot of dodging and burning done and then when you do an undo, uh, what you'll have to do is you'll have to uh, undo uh, portions that took a lot of time to create. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you a new method here. I've got an image open, or the image we've used a lot. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, create a new layer. I'm going to make sure it's transparent. I'm going to call it Dodge Burn and uh, say OK. And now what uh, I'm going to do is set this as an overlay. And I'm going to set my opacity on that layer down to about, uh, uh, let's say, 40. I would set it for around 20, but uh, the, the quality of the videos is, um, it would not show the really fine detail. So we're going to leave it high. Um, and what I'm going to do is uh, you're going to see that um, if I select black here, if I select pure black, which is, um, we've got a slider, value slider over to get pure black. Um, if I paint with pure black, we're going to select our brush tool, our scale is high. You're going to see that it darkens whatever it goes over. Okay, and if you'll notice, it darkens uniformly. Now, if I reverse it and select white, so there we have burning, uh, what you will do is you'll get dodge, a dodging effect, um, which is uh, if you paint with the white. Now, if you paint with the uh, paint with a gray, we'll slightly make this slightly grayer. I'll say OK. You'll notice that I hope you can see this that the um, the uh, burning effect is quite a bit lighter. So now I'm going to Control Z those done. And uh, so what we have is we have um, a single dodge burn layer here. What we can also do is create another one and we'll call this Dodge Burn 2 and we'll say OK and we will also set that to um, uh, Overlay and uh, we'll slide our Opacity layer down to about 40 again. Now if you'll notice um, if this layer is active uh, we can um, let me get something that really counts over here. Solid black so you can see it. In this area over here, we can use this layer. Let's say for some sky detail or whatever. And then um, what we can do is then we can make our other layer active. And then we can, um, like let's say, um, dodge on the building. And part of the sky, we'll say just for example. So if you'll notice, what I have here effectively is two dodge burn layers. The first one on the building and the sky, and the second one on the, uh, on the sky to the right. So what you can have is in a complicated dodging and burning operation where you're really working on an image, you can have multiple layers and if you screw up on one layer, you can eliminate that layer and just redo that layer and uh, have the other information remain. I'm going to uh, trash these layers. You'll notice the image remains the same. Oops. Just eliminated the image. So I'll put the image back. Now, what we can also do is I'm going to create a new layer and we'll call it Dodge Burn. 
and we'll say okay and it's transparency remember the transparency that's important and we'll go to like uh, let's say 40 something again and we'll make it an overlay and um, what we can do is we can use some of our other tools to like let's say we'll do a square here and we'll use it as a selection and we can fill it with a color and then what we can also do is we can do a select all and then we can come over to like let's say um, uh, let's say we'll do this oval and we'll select it and we can use our bucket tool and darken that so what we've got is we've got uh, effectively um, we've got um, we can do multiple operations on uh, the same layer we can dodge and burn on the same layer so we can use the brush tool any of the uh, uh, selection tools uh, you can select the color you can do whatever you want to and uh, then what you can do is you can gradually uh, lighten it or darken it which is uh, really pretty valuable and then if you want to really do some uh, half pixel stuff and some uh, real feather edging stuff um, what you can do is you can use the uh, spray brush another thing is you can save those uh, dodge, dodge burn uh, areas um, you know to a selection uh, for example um, eliminate this area and eliminate this area and we'll want to go to edit and undo remove the layer and what we can do is uh, we can take this for example and then we can go to select and save to a channel and here is our channel so what we can do is we can save those for utilizations within our layers within our uh, masks um, so I'm going to select all and then once you are done with your uh, dodging and burning within this uh, we'll make sure that we are going to have to create a new layer uh, dodge burn transparency okay uh, we'll make it overlay and uh, we'll make it 40 usually you want to use a lot less um, on your uh, opacity but uh, what we'll do is uh, let's say we'll do this and then we'll hit enter and uh, what we'll do is we'll darken this so we'll use the bucket fill tool okay it's coming and now we'll do a select all over here grab our brush tool do a little bit of this a little bit of this and what we can do is then we can do a little bit of dodging versus burning and then when we are all done we just come up and go to select I mean go to image and uh, flatten the image and everything is stored right within the image ready to save well, listen, I thank you for um, watching this video, and we look forward to another one. But that is uh, uh, dodging and burning within a uh, um, overlay layer. Best way to do it. The best way to do it.